Hi, my Aries. Welcome to your mid-month reading. This is Soul and Love Guidance. This is from March 17 to March 31st, and it's very short. It's more just to help you how to go in the right path to start April with the right foot. So, if you want to look at things more in details, more in depth, I will recommend you to go back to the monthly, which I talk about more love in details, you know, a little bit extended. But right now we're going to look at your cards and what it's coming for you this last two weeks of March. Empress Reverse is your general energy for this last two weeks. And I have to pick the two cards that were behind it because we need to look at this. I want to understand why is that you have this Empress Empress in reverse here. This Empress is basically about your personal power and you losing it. You losing that personal power, the personal power. I think you are being too emotional in a certain way. Like I think you're putting too much attention to what is your personal, emotional, or material needs, right? I, I think you are um, feeling like uh, like a loss inside, you know? Um, I think it's like you feeling lost in yourself. Like it's time to meditate because you're having this lack of harmony within you, within you. And I think you really need to go inside yourself. You're struggling a bit. And and when I look at the two cards behind it, you know, you have the Six of Swords in reverse, you have the Two of Cups. And you are basically blocking that movement. And that's what the Six of Swords in reverse is. is a blockage there. It's not moving forward. Like, you see the benefits at the end, which is the Two of Cups here. You're looking at this and you're like, okay, so there's a contract. There's something we can go from here even in love uh, even a relationship of work uh co-workers colleagues bosses like you might have the opportunity to go to a new job or develop something new at work or feeling stressed about things and that's making you feel like empress but you see it you see the benefits of it at the end of being there right like there's something there with its two of cups. But you are kind of like stuck. Like there's no movement or you're resistant to move in a certain way. So that making you feel that you are kind of like personally losing that power of you being a cardinal sign, being energetic is just being so drained lately. But you know what you need to avoid? I'm going to tell you what you need to avoid. First of all, it says beware of greed. And when you see the Empress in reverse too, maybe you are asking too much, even from yourself too much, to see what, what you need in a material way. That's what the Empress also t is talking about too. And there is a chain here too. This is going to happen. And read what it says there. It's a chain of events and actually with persons that will affect your life. There's a chain of events, even people that will mix up in the situation you will be in or, you know, so you might be feeling the one who is getting too greedy or you are going to be affected by this type of people that might try to affect your job in a certain way, affect your life, especially at work. Because this is more like in a material way, material way. And these people might be very greedy and is right in your way. And you know and you feel it. And, and you feel like something is stopping you from moving. Or maybe you are you are definitely passing through a transition Aries. And what you need to focus on grief work i got three cards you know that jump out of the, the pile end of an era and we have adult children and this how this cards are really pretty much says it all you are in a period of grief you know feel that you lost something maybe you you are still dealing with the transition changes directions where you're going where you're heading and it's okay because end of an era means that you are like a cocoon. 
you you are you know you're in that stage of developing your wings and go out that's what it means so you do need to grieve it it's okay maybe you need to um, ask for help maybe you need someone to talk to personally professionally to help you to deal with this because I see you feeling like oh my god where is the abundance like you you're not feeling it so you might need someone to talk to really and I think part of it too is the transition is that you see yourself like okay I need to be more responsible of what I'm doing I'm not a child anymore this is why adult children means maybe you your family also it still sees you like a, you know like a child and you're gonna have to like show them no I'm not you feel the pressure probably I don't know what's really going on but it's something like that is going on with you and you do need to focus on your responsibilities and you do need to realize you're not a child anymore and you're an adult so you have to be responsible for your things probably you feel to your family still feel like your child and you know your parents are getting too much involved or you know and you're an adult or maybe you are also um trying to work in your kids if you have kids maybe you are trying to deal with the fact like maybe your kids are you know going to college now and you're feeling sad and grieving that like oh my god you know feeling like my, my, my children are going already to college they're going to high school they grow in um maybe you are trying to make future plans for your kids too that's why it calls adult children card too put in your situation but if you don't have kids, you're probably the kid of the house. Uh, your parents see you that way and you you know, you feel the pressure. You need to show them you're an adult, okay? And what is your lesson while you're passing through all of this is dealing with change. And change basically is saying, you know, um, that uh, it's okay to, to change that you need to grow and you are in that process right now you are in that process and if you do not evolve right if you don't turn this six of swords in reverse then you will be stuck right in this situation with this empress reverse so if you need to look for someone or someone you know something uh, professional or whatever i will say go for it um need a period of um rest to heal yourself a bit you need it take it um as well and uh, worry about you at this point and healing that is very important too so it's okay to grieve ask for help and just heal rest a bit and if you, it's okay to say no when people ask too much from you at this point okay for my solos, you have nobody, you're alone, no love. You know what? Again, look at this. You have the clouds thinking, 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 right? You want to find love? You want to be? I think you're blocking any single thoughts about right now, about relationships. I think you want to be in a state of peace and harmony within you. And right now, your thoughts are kind of like, blocking that sense of wanting to be in a relationship or you are blocking that thoughts of feeling good and harmony with a relationship like whatever it is you're alone right now i think you are more focused in what it is your material like it's all about this material right here and i see with the empress and you might feel the way of loss too in terms to your relationships you might feel grieving over a loss of someone in the past or you start hurting but I think you are trying to block that you know and we need to get to that space of harmony especially within yourself because this is impressed represent you you need that peace and you need to look for it if you want to find someone in the future especially is it's all about you it's all about you I can see that with the Empress it's all about you and healing grieving you know go talk to someone do something to release that uh, sadness that pressure right for my couples I think you guys couples living together or not marry or not but you are in a serious relationship for my solos is you completely solo you're not in a serious relationship right 
So for this one, we have the doggy, we have the crossroad, and we have the same card of the clouds and thoughts. And I think you're splitting apart in, in terms to what your concept is and what you think about your partner at this point for my couples. I don't know exactly what's going on, but you are kind of like dealing with a loss or resistance and change when it comes to your relationship. And, and this is truly affecting your relationship. And I think you need to kind of like take a time apart when it comes to your mind and what's going on there. And I believe that what you need to do is, like I said, what you need to focus on at this point is go in within, take your time, heal for whatever happened with your relationship uh, at this point uh, with your partner. Just take your time apart and clear your thoughts. That's what you need to do to think clearly because I think you are a little bit confused of directions with, um, with your heading, with your relationship. Okay, so my Aries, I hope I help you in any way, and it's all about changes and transitions for you. That's what that's what your soul lesson is. Okay, uh, pay attention to it, and we can do this, Aries. I send you a big kiss, much love, and much light, and I'll see you in April. Ciao.